The video for Clint Eastwood by Gorillaz is an animated video. The Gorillaz are an alternative rock band and this video isn't very interpretive. The visuals are of them performing and there isn't any visual interpretation of the song. There is text at the start with the band's name letting viewers know what they're listening to. And there is reference to Michael Jackson's song Thriller in this video as there is the Thriller dance in it. This is a link to Michael Jackson. In this video there is no cut into the beat. Although at the start, when the music first begins, the characters are nodding their heads along with the music, acknowledging they are playing the music that we are listening to. Audio is lip synced in this video by the cartoon character singer. There is also multi-image in the video. When they are performing, they have shots of different people in the group as it switches to each member of the band as they perform. There is lots of different angles in this video. In the first half of the video, there is more close-up shots and mid-shots of the members. In the second half of the video, with the dancing gorillas, there is more long shots and extreme close-ups. Tracking shots and panning shots are used when the rap verse is playing. There is panning shots of the dancing gorillas. Eminem's music video for a recent rap song called Berserk is a use of advertising as the release of the video was used to promote Dr. Dre Beats headphones and there was a separate advert made with the use of this video. This video doesn't use many lyrical interpretations apart from when the song has a DJ scratching effect and in the video Eminem is doing an impression of it with his hands. Extensions are used when Eminem sprays the song's name in front of the camera and we see it on the screen. This effect gave the impression he was directly painting onto the camera. There is links to other artists in the video, not necessarily because of the song, because they don't feature in it, but maybe to show that the artists are collaborating together and to bring fans of other artists in. Kendrick Lamar is in the video for a small part lip syncing Eminem's lyrics. When editing, they put cutting to the beat in the video. There is a part when someone is riding a bicycle and the editor reversed the clip and played it over the DJ scratching effects used in the song. This is very relatable to the genre of rap music, rap. Eminem mimes, mimes the song and so do other people he uses in the video like Kendrick Lamar. None of it is done live. There is lots of different camera shots and angles used in the video. Extreme close-ups are the most frequent when Eminem is rapping straight to the camera from a low angle shot. This gives us the impression that he is dominant to the viewer. A green screen would have been used for parts of the video where the background is a stereo. Reggie Snow's song, Meddling Loops, is very interpretive. The video is short animated clips that are interpretations of the lyrics. The clips are multi-image and this is throughout the complete video. There is an extension at the start of the video with the text of the song's name and there is links to other artists, Crave and Jesse James are featured on the track. They are in the videos, animations and their verses are playing in the song. The video is animated and animations of clips of them performing and lip syncing into the song. There is use of multi-image because the clips switch continuously throughout the video. The main camera shot is, is, the, is a mid shot. There is a few close ups and long shots but there isn't any low or high angled shots. This keeps a continuous pace going on throughout the video because the angles don't change. These three very different music videos are examples of the different styles and techniques used in different genres of music and different types of music videos. Thanks for watching.